All right, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Wednesday evening. Another edition of KFTV Post Game Live. And that, my friends, is the victory music. Because the New York Knicks would head down to Atlanta looking to get back on track after a tough loss to the Boston Celtics. And where else to get right but heading down to the A? Because the Hawks will usually lay down for the Knicks during the regular season. And the Knicks will have their way, but not tonight. Because the tonight, the Knicks had to work for it. No R.J. Barrett. And the Knicks would ultimately lose Quentin Grimes in this game. But it's a sloppy, sloppy affair. 17 Nick turnovers. Some sloppy defense. Boyan Bogdanovich popping off. And the Knicks would find themselves in a dogfight. Well, let's give them some credit. Because led by Julius Randle, who put the team on his back for all four quarters. Jalen Brunson, who came alive at the right time. And IQ, what it do? Emmanuel quickly with 20 timely points and some clutch free throws in a cardiac affair. The Knicks would pull away 116 to 114. They go to six and five on the campaign. Knicks fans turn the pacemakers up and we got another affair, man. And boy, oh boy, what a sloppy game, man. Such a sloppy game. Uh, this Knicks team continues to throw the ball away carelessly. I'm hoping that they clean this up at some point during this season before it gets too late. But again, give them credit. I thought Julius Randle, again, despite all the turnovers, I thought Julius Randle was great, especially as a facilitator. 29 points, 10 rebounds, 8 assists for Julius. They really needed him, and he delivered, especially in the third quarter when things started to bog down because Knicks got out to a fast start. They were moving and grooving. They were getting out in transition. Josh Hart was playing well. Brunson, the whole nine. They were really pushing this thing. But the Hawks would bring it back into the second quarter, in the second quarter. And by the third quarter, you had yourself a dogfight. Knicks offense got uh, got uh, sluggish. Several turnovers, seven turnovers in the third quarter alone. But give credit. Give credit. Julius Randle did his thing. And uh, and and then Brunson and quickly came alive in the end, man. What what you what you think about this game? You see these eyes, CP? Do you see these yeah. eyes? Do you yeah. see how tired I am after watching this game? Yeah. This game was ugly, especially ugly. in the second and third quarter. Good God, man! Yeah. For a second, I thought we were gonna get some overtime basketball. I was like, you, are we really about to get this? This this, this should have been an easy win. Yeah, but a win's a win. You know what I mean? So, but hey, bully ball, Randall is the best type of Randall. When he's yeah. getting downhill and attacking the paint like that, you, you you can't stop him, man. And that's what you need from him on a nightly basis. And the eight, I think he had eight assists as, uh, you know, the website decides to go down. I mean, he had eight assists, man. That's what you also like to see. He's the leading facilitator on the yeah. Knicks this season. Needed it. And that's what you all, Hey, look, I think he came into the season knowing that he has to be more than just a score. And, and like, obviously rebounding, he's top tier. But you got to be able to elevate everyone's game. One play that really stands out to me, it was when Quickly was on the court as well. He calls Quickly to come around, Quickly cuts baseline, yeah. comes up the left wing, gets behind Randall, right? Randall dribbles to the left, gives him a behind the back bounce pass to him, Quickly attacks, and there you go. That's that's the recognition. Be like, you know what? I see my guys getting it going. I'm going to go find and get my guy the ball. Yeah. That's the type of stuff you need to see from Randall, man, and that's what I like from him tonight. Solid game, 12 for, 12 for 24 from the field. You needed it. No R.J. Barrett, as you noted. Look, this team needs R.J. Barrett back, man, because we the offense. We need you, R.J. We, I don't, okay. Bro, yeah. we need you. Co please come back healthy because this offense takes a step back without you. Yeah. It yeah. really does. Yeah. And it was scary, CP. Brunson, you. I thought Brunson was ready to have a 30-piece again against yeah. the Hawks, man. I thought he was ready to have a 30-piece. You're looking at uh, Trey Young, DeJounte Murray on the other side. I'm like, he cooked them last time. He should be able to do it today. But between the second and yeah. third quarter, he was struggling. At one point, it's he tough. even started pressing for shots, man. He yeah. started pressing, which is uncharacteristic from him. But thankfully, as you noted, he decided he got into rhythm, knocked, knocked down some big threes. He's not fully back yet, man. No. I, like Brunson, he's had some solid games. Uh, no doubt about it. He's not fully back yet, man. Once he's finishing around the rim, at that top tier level that we get from him, then I know.
I'm very excited to tell you guys that yeah. I believe that Julius Randle is back to mid-season form. Mm, okay, let's that talk means about it. Yeah. Along with all the uh, sloppy turnovers and the not getting back on defense, okay. at, we're at least getting 20, 20, 20 and 10 and 5. So, okay. you know, yeah, that's always what he's back. Okay. okay. And, uh, you know, I think we really, really miss RJ's ability to get to the rim at will because I think that was kind of the reason why the Hawks were able to come back uh, in the middle of the game against us. We we couldn't really generate any offense. We, we looked a little bit slow. Yeah. I don't really know what's up with Brunson and you know his touch around the rim lately, but it's clear that I, that RJ is um, the best in this team at getting to the rim and initiating plays out of that. But um, I think we really picked it up, especially towards the end. Quickly had a really nice game, very efficient. A little bit tough on the turnovers, but you know, cleaned it up at the end. Mitchell Robinson continues to be um, the most important player on this team overall. Yeah. I mean, you just can't say enough about the rebounding, man. You, you like I saw a stat today. Mitch is averaging five point eight offensive rebounds per game. It said that's the most of any player since the year two thousand. Yeah. So he's doing he's doing crazy things. I, I really want to see if he could keep it up. I've learned a couple things, C P and Alex. Yep. I want to share. Mm, yep. Um Julius Randall, I figured some stuff out. We have to get him started early in the game attacking the basket. When he feels good about himself early in the game, I think it helps him. Yeah. Another thing that I think helps Randall is, I'm not saying all the time, I like the pick and roll with Mitch to get him downhill. Yep. And Julius took five threes and he made his threes. His shot feels a little bit better. I think Julius felt good. He, also, he had one pass tonight, CP, out of an out-of-bounds play to iHeart that he made such a quick decision. He yes. made the right play. He yeah. really had a great floor game, so I want to give yeah. Randall love. And I, I thought I did learned, a good job running the floor tonight as well. Go ahead. He, he did. Another thing I've learned about Brunson, Brunson doesn't always have to take the shot. Like, the way they're guarding him, he let IQ cook. But like the caller said, like, I, I thought Brunson didn't force. He, obviously, he made the clutch bucket late. He took the charges because Brunson's a warrior. But he... CP for this team to win it to win the whole thing. I think Brunson also needs to grow. Yes, he needs guys to trust, but you can't ask him to do it the whole game. That's why IQ takes pressure off him. Yeah, I thought Brunson did enforce the way they're guarding. If they're going to load up because they're scared of Brunson, CP, all these guys in the NBA, they're all scared of Brunson. That's why they don't want to go one on one with him. So let IQ cook. He let IQ cook. He was patient. Brunson got the clutch bucket. One, uh, two, two things. Mm -hmm. Josh Hart. Thank you for not fouling Bogdanovich. And I thought Quentin Grimes made the right play on one play to hit, to make the extra pass in the corner to Hart. But Josh Hart has to make the open three, CP. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. got to make the open three. But but Quentin Grimes, I don't blame you. You made the right play, play by making the extra pass. DiVincenzo, you're, put, you're too loose with the basketball right now. Yeah, I like you, you're a little too loosey-goosey. You. Yeah. You're, you're a little too loosey-goosey. But the, yeah. last, the two things I'll say is Randall and Brunson, they were unselfish tonight, and they still got theirs. They made the right plays, so it's progress. But I've learned about Randall, how to get him going early in games. I hope Julius is listening. Thank you very Today, much. Also remember that this show is available in audio podcast format. No reason to miss it. Catch us on all major podcast platforms. Al, great show. We'll see you guys soon.